Oh boy. Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I <laughs> hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with Mr. Joe Cocker once again, and we're returning to his 1991 concert live in Dortmund. Uh, this song, I, I looked it up and it's like off a of best of album as well. The best of Joe Cocker came out in 1992. Um, I couldn't really find anything else on this actual concert, uh, but I'm excited to go back to it because we did You Can Leave Your Hat On, I believe, uh, a couple weeks ago from the same concert. It was fantastic. Then we went back and listened to um, the one track from Woodstock, I think, or was it Woodstock? I think it was, yeah. Um, that was insane. So it's cool to like see the difference, but the similarities and, you know, like a 40 year span basically almost, and uh, well, maybe a 30 year, uh, if that. But I'm excited to go back to it because um, <laughs> you can leave your hat on was fucking great. So enough small talk. Let's go. The track is called Night Calls. Live in Dortmund. Dude, don't fall over. All right. If y'all are not subscribed, please help my brother out. Click that icon right below my face. This is a pick by Cora, who should be happy today because she got two videos today. You rock, Cora. Da, da, da. All right. Joe Cocker, Night Calls, Live in Dortmund. In three, a two, a one. Hit it. Subscribe for more. Wow, those symbols are so shiny. Oh, I love these backup singers, they're so amazing. <laughs> song feels like night calls So moody. Moody of something. That you love the money. Think and love. The plans you make. I love his mannerisms, man. They're very, in very interesting. 
Goldman, all right. I'd like to introduce you to the band. Oh, thank you. I can't find the lineup. My good friend, Chris Stanton on keyboards. This, that was great. Mr. John Miles, vocals, keyboards, guitar. Our ladies, Sydney Davis and Maxine Sharp. Ladies, they killed it. On the drums, Dan Hickey. Hickey. Warren McRae on bass. My pal, Wild Man Home Juice, Phil Grande on guitar. Last but not least, Derek Dyer on sax and keyboards. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm not going to remember their names, but I will, at least I know who they are now. <laughs> um, damn, definitely, like, other than the vocals, uh, which were great, they were, like, the whole song was very moody, like I said. Like, the, I really think the piano had a lot to do with that. It was very emotive. It had, um, I don't know, like, kind of a darkness to it, as it was called, Night Calls, but... There was like uh, rays of hope and sunshine throughout it, uh, mostly in like the backup singers' vocals. I think they kind of brought the light to it. Um, he just has such a unique everything, like his voice, his cadence, his mannerisms. It's a very I've never seen like anybody like him. I really haven't. Um, I've seen people have little things they do while they sing, but like he really just goes for it. I mean, I know I know I think that I don't know if it's like a tick. Or what he does, but it adds a lot of uh, character. It feels like and to the to the music for some reason. I don't know why it would, but it does for me at least. <laughs> uh, and he just has such a wonderful voice, man. It, it's so unique and gravelly, uh, but he can get to any kind of I don't know any note he really needs to hit. He can hit it, and it just really bounces off well with those backup singers. I think he picked a great uh, band out for this. I don't know if that's like his usual, you know, get up with all those people, but it's really good. The piano player uh, was fantastic. Like I said, he's my favorite thing other than uh, the vocals, like a very moody sound. Uh, it just really balanced out the drums and everything else. The vocals was very dominant. It balanced that out very well. Uh, the bass and guitar, um, I really like that guitar, his outfit and what he was doing. It was a very... Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to call the guitar sound. Um, he had his parts where it was almost bluesy and soulsy at points, but it was a very interesting blend of, I don't know, this is just kind of a unique song. It didn't really fit any box or category, and I kind of like that. You know, I like when songs are like that because when I can't, I don't know, explain it, not even explain it, but, you know, put it in a box, that means it's special, you know, and I really did feel something here. Like, it was more of a, I don't know. I felt what he was feeling. It didn't really bring any memories to me, like to mind or any feelings like that. But I felt where he was coming from. And I kind of almost was like in the moment with him thinking about whatever he was. And, you know, I don't know if it was actually about calling people at night, you know, or you're feeling lonely and empty inside. You know, that's kind of what I felt like. And just trying to reach out to anybody, you know, I know when I was younger, um, I didn't care who I, I had a house, obviously, because like, you know, I said my dad died. If y'all probably know that when I was really young, my mom had to go back to work, obviously, because uh, she was a stay at home mom. So she was never there. And uh, so I could just have people come over and throughout the house all day, do whatever. And I used to throw parties and I feel so bad for my mother. I treated her so badly as a child um, and a teenager, especially. Um, I had no respect for anybody or anything, at least about myself, you know. And I didn't care who I just to bring anybody. I don't care if you want to trash my house. I'll clean it up tomorrow morning before she gets back. I don't care. You know, um, just be around me, you know, just be somewhere. I, you know, I just I couldn't handle the loneliness because, I, you know, after my dad died, I was a very lonely kid. I was an only child. No one else really lived in the house except my nine year old grandpa. You know, I got to spend time with him. But eventually, even me and him didn't like each other because. I'm out smoking cigarettes with my friends and he's trying to, you know, stop me. But he's 92 years old. What is he going to do? You know, my mom already knows. It was just, it was a mess. And uh, I didn't help. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I just wanted anybody. I don't care who it was. It could be a whole party of people just to, I don't know. They probably didn't even want anything to do with me. They were just there to have a house to party at. And, you know, it's just how it works, you know. But I, uh, I don't know. I was just a very lonely person. And I still feel that way sometimes, but 
Um, not as much as I used to. I just, you know, I have issues. <laughs> I'm trying to work on them, obviously. That's what my freaking, uh, I don't know, this, this video diary session, I guess I do whenever we listen to music. But that's what brought to mind, you know, uh, just feeling lonely and reaching out to just anybody. Um, but yeah, I love Joe Cocker. This day. Like, it's so crazy how we've listened to like two different, like, I don't know, it's like almost 40 years in between them, 30 years maybe. I don't know how long exactly. Um, but it's, it's, it's amazing how his voice was back then, how it was in the future and just, he never changed, you know, he, he's always, he always stayed Joe and, uh, I've really enjoyed his music so far. So thank you, Core, for sending that one in. I look forward to more if you want to do more, it's up to you. Um, but I definitely am down because uh, this man is amazing and he always puts on a great performance. And I guess if, um, if you don't, then I'll just do the with a little help from my friends, because I know a lot of people wanted to hear that one. So we'll definitely do that one next week. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all very much. If y'all didn't know, I have a Patreon right here. That is a link. Uh, there is <laughs> that is a picture. There is a link in the description. If you click it, join the $15 tier or up. You get to one free request a month. Um, there's other tiers. If you just want to join any tier, you can get all the block videos and albums and stuff that are up there. The Beatles, King Crimson, uh, Jethro Tull, Zappa, such and such, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can also uh, just send a request in through PayPal. Uh, there's a link in the description for that as well. Either one works. I will throw you on the list. Um, I don't know. See, I feel sad now. Like, not even sad. I feel empty right now. It's so weird. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, you know, trying to describe how I feel. And I, it's like almost like I feel nothing. It's so strange. Like, I, the song was great. It was obviously, but I don't know what it just did to me. It's so weird. I better get out of here before I hurt myself. Help, I'm, I'm stuck on your screen. Let me free, help, <laughs> bye.